high priced heist and a violent chase through two counties ends in arrest. The Martin County Sheriff says the suspects caused several car crashes and are possibly linked to other crimes on the Treasure Coast and in Palm Beach County. CBS 12's Louis Ortiz is in Stewart with a shocking sequence of events that played out today. We're off of Southeast Dixie Highway in Stewart, where investigators say this is where it all started. Two young crooks took authorities on a wild chase after hitting this jewelry store, where the sheriff says shots may have been fired. But tonight, the sheriff's office is thankful no one was seriously injured. Yeah, they're multi multi county offenders. They were on a rampage of crime, going from from crime to crime to crime until they came into Martin County and we ended it. Two suspects from Palm Beach County in cuffs and in custody. Today's dangerous turn of events all started when deputies say these two suspects stole more than $100,000 in jewelry from Diamonds by Terry near Stewart before taking off in a stolen car. The driver of the stolen SUV used in the crime is identified as 20-year-old Devon Alfonso McDonald of Lock Investigators identifying the other suspect as 15 year old Janarius St. Ford of West Palm Beach. When they left that scene, that vehicle had, had was going the wrong way. It was going northbound in the southbound lane. It had already been in a crash. Shots had already been fired. Our responding units picked up on the vehicle. It was a long, high speed chase up into St. Lucie County. These uh, suspects were bound and determined to get away. They had no intention of stopping. Investigators forced to use devices to flatten their tires after the duo made their way back south into Martin County, eventually crashing into a tree on the side of I-95, just south of Canner Highway. They fled on foot. Uh, the water was up to the neck of the suspects. Our deputies plunged into the water, were able to apprehend them. This chase creating a dangerous commute for drivers. The sheriff says it's a possibility the suspect's driving caused other crashes. Now he says he's just glad these traveling thieves are off the streets. These are violent, serious, uh, felons that we know that they've been involved in numerous uh, crimes up and down the Treasure Coast, including burglaries to residences in Palm Beach County. Right now, investigators are still trying to recover the stolen items. As for the store owner here, she tells me off camera that she's still very shaken up, and this is probably one of the worst experiences in her more than 20 years in the business. In Stewart, I'm Lily Ortiz, CBS 12 News.